Here you see Tiberium. Some say it is the root of all that we fight for, but the wise man will judge for himself. Tiberium is named after the Tiber River in Italy where it was first discovered. Discovered by the Brotherhood, that is, and I named it after Tiberius Drusus Caesar. There are now more than 200 areas of the Earth affected by Tiberium deposits. Tiberium appears to be spreading by means of conveyance unknown. Unknown to them, perhaps. Dr. Mobius, tell our viewers just what Tiberium really is. Molecularly, it's a non-carbon-based element that appears to have strong... An obvious lunatic. ...with non-resonating reversible energy that has a tendency to disrupt carbon-based molecular structures with inconsequent and in, in, uh, unequal positrons orbiting on the first, second, and ninth quark rings. Whoa, is that good or bad? Ooh, let me put it this way, Eddie. The possibilities of Tiberium are limitless. I suppose that's correct. But by limitless, uh, you mean... We now know that not only does Tiberium leach elements from the soil, but it appears to also leach vital nutrients from all plant life. Human contact with Tiberium is extremely toxic and often fatal. Exposure should be avoided. This is true. Deploy your troops accordingly. GDI and the Brotherhood view the benefits and the threats of Tiberium differently. They see a scientific anomaly, a curiosity. I see the future. In their stubborn ignorance, they continue to try and forestall this future. Somewhere in this region is a top secret GDI research lab headed by Dr. Wong Hu Chan, a sadly misled, although brilliant scientist. I suspect he is leading a research team in the process of developing a devastating new ion weapon. It is imperative that you locate this lab and terminate the good doctor before research is completed. Once you locate the base, one of your snipers should finish the job. Go quickly. Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Command and Conquer. So, it's time for the Angola mission. And, uh, this mission, well, do you miss having commandos? Well, here's another one. Yay. Oh, do I need to put, yeah, I need to put help text back on again. Of course I do. All right, so, let's just pick these guys off as quick as we can. There we go. You want some? You want some? Yeah, you don't, do you? Yes, All right, so even though Kane says to get one of our snipers to finish the job, we can do it in another way. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, or multiple ways. That is what I like about, uh, you know, Command and Conquer as a game. Something that you seem might be a very clear cut. It doesn't have to be clear cut. Anyway, so just uh, eliminating GDI. Ooh, there's some dudes here. Get out of here, you. Just get rid of all these guys. Oh, okay. All right, so. Uh, what we got here, pretty much, is a mission where we got to go in sort of like a U-shape, pretty much. Uh, to get to, uh, it, well, if any of our people survive, which I bloody hope they do. Uh, then we will get a helicopter, which will transport us to the, uh, the research lab itself. There's one major problem with this, which is, well, all the GDI troops here. Alright, so, that's the only problem really with this mission. Uh, I don't really care about you, <laughs> really care about you guys. Alright, moving onwards. So, what are you doing? Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot, shoot, shoot. Go Commando. Go Commando. Alright, please kill this. Please kill it. Please kill the medium tank. Yes! Did I lose commando? I think I did. I think I lost commando. Ah, well. Commando's alright here, but he's not essential. No, he's alive! I just heard him. 
commander is alive, folks. That's good. Yes, and you're all dead. It's a flame tank. So, if we can keep some uh, things like either light tanks or artilleries, hopefully the artilleries, one's not looking very good, the other's looking pretty solid. Um, if we can keep those alive, that would be good, because that's another way you can finish this mission, and that's how when I was uh, practicing this uh, level, that's how I actually completed the mission. Oh, hello. Do you mind? Bloody tank. Get out of here. And you. Uh, Commando is still alive. I see him. Oh, God, he's got a fair amount of health as well. That's good. All right, moving onwards. We have a fair amount of troops left, which is very nice, actually. Um, just wanting to see what else we got over here. Very, very quick here. Oh! That was something. Whatever it is, it's now dead. Oh, Hello. oh God. Now, I'm losing just all of my troops. Right, now Commando is dead. I'm fairly certain the commando just died, which is a bit of a shame, but I won't. They've been burnt. Oh, okay, good. Keep going. We still have a fair amount of troops left, which I'm very happy about. Oh, that's a, uh... Yeah, that's... Oh, I lost an artillery. I still have one left. That's okay. I have to try and find a decent... Oh, God. Get out of here. Horrible gits. Get burned by flame tank. Oh, there's more. They're going after the nod buggy. No! Oh god, there's gonna be even more troops coming up now. Well, here's the reinforcements. Oh. Not a problem. Burn him, please. Burn him. Alright, good. Nope. Don't get don't no, don't go for the artillery. Thank you. Git. Alright, so here is the lovely uh research facility. Ooh. You guys, we still have two light tanks. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Two years. Oh, and we just lost a troop. That's a shame. Can we shoot him from here? Yes, we can. That's good. Luckily, the uh, the GDI troops, I believe, our minigunners, they can't hit us, which is pretty nice. Uh, oh, now just firing against this guy just to kill him off. I believe. Well, I wonder if you can hit the prison possibly. Not from there, you can't. Can you do it from up here, possibly? Can't be able to lock both artilleries, goddammit. Alright, just shoot this guy then. Huh. That is pretty annoying, to be honest. Yeah, we can't shoot. We need the we need the artilleries to stay in this. Dang it. And we don't have the artillery, so I think we are pretty much screwed. We can't do this mission now. You're dead. Still shoot him though, I guess. There you go. Come on. Get shot. Get hit. There you go. Wow, we actually didn't even need to kill. All oh, right, we we just killed. The... Okay. Oh, that was the doctor. Okay, fair enough. All right. I thought we actually had to blow it up. No, we just had to exterminate the doctor that was outside, who was literally just running around, doing nothing, instead of, oh, I don't know, uh, getting back in the building. We couldn't have hit the building from that. Was, that, was, that was dumb of him. I thought he was a brilliant man. Not a very intelligent one from the sound of it, and that's, that's a doctor. Anyway, it's time for our next mission. Mission number 11 of, I believe, 13. Indeed. So, we are making big he headway here into uh, Africa, but GDI is gaining a few territories. Or at least parts of it. Let's go to the right. We haven't done a right mission yet, so let's well, do it now. Mozambique. Their military strength is laughable. Great. Okay, so there is our password. Hopefully we won't need it. I hope I can trust you with this. GDI has stolen the plans and only prototype of our most valuable weapon. I call it Ezekiel's wheel. Essentially, it's a stealth tank. Get it back. 
Recapture the base without harming the wheel, and be certain to wipe out all present GDI forces to ensure that they never steal from me again. Okay, so this is a another very tough mission. Or it can be a very tough mission. Anyway, there is the wibbliness of the stealth tank. Wibbly wibbly tank moving towards the base. We have no idea, even because of its wibbliness. Look at the wibbliness. Wibbly attack, kaboom, death. Because of wibbliness. All right, Mozambique. So, uh, this mission, as I said, is very, very tough, and we are gonna, uh, we're about to get right into it. Unit lost. All right, guys, so here is the mission. Uh, this is actually uh, post-commentary. Uh, because I have been stuck on this mission for about five hours. Uh, this is the run that I did it with. <clears throat> I wouldn't say that it was a, uh, a particularly great run. Uh, but anyway, I'm just going to go across like what happened. And I also get screwed over right at the end. To the point that I had to use cheat codes. But that's because this level design is crap. In this level. Anyway, first off we have this mammoth tank you have to deal with on the right. Uh, what you're actually supposed to do is you're actually supposed to go down south. Um, yeah, so you're supposed to go down south to get the, uh, uh, to get the base there, but instead I just go straight for the main base. Uh, use the commando there to flush out the orca, and then kill it with your, uh, with your bazooka troops. It's always nice. Then you just move one, uh, up, just to make sure that also keep to the sides, so the, uh, the guard tower, the advanced guard tower doesn't get you. Trust me, it will. And then blast a small hole in their base. Now, if you hit any of the uh, of the buildings, that's pretty much your run done. And that was that was where most of my stuff started. Most of my problems started with this level. Um, it it's not a nice level. It's probably the worst level in the game, in my opinion. Uh, then again, I still haven't recorded the uh, probably the next like few parts with the last two missions for Nod. Anyway, I end up blasting two holes here. Just so uh, one of my engineers that is uh, still at the top uh, can get to the construction yard. So then the advanced guard tower hits it. Uh, with the advanced guard tower hitting the uh, uh, the construction yard, that leaves my other engineers open to take the two power plants and then take the guard tower out. Because pretty much it's their version of the Obelisk of Light. If they don't have uh, uh, enough uh, power to... Well, power it, I guess. Uh, they can't use it. It's pretty much it's lead dormant, pretty much. So yeah, you take one. It's still going. It's destroying the construction yard. But then you get the second one, and it is done. Anyway, you uh, what you want to do now is sell uh, one of the power plants here, and move your other bazooka troops, or all your bazooka troops that are still alive, uh, over to the side. Um, so I move mine over here just for the moment because if you hit the construction yard, that's that's game over. You lose uh, because then um, all the uh, refinery or whatever. Anyway, so I build a barracks here, all nice and nice, just to get some troops in there pretty easily. I actually build a second barracks. Now the reason for this is is that the guard tower will then attack it instead of your troops. Uh, which is all nice. Anyway, now start building some engineers, obviously. The commando is destroying the, uh, uh, the, uh, the guard towers there. And with this engineer, I'm just going to move up a little bit. And hope to God that that doesn't... Uh, luckily, they didn't hit the Tiberium, I don't think. And then I start taking some of these silos. Uh, some of these gave me money, others did not. Uh, but it was a good way to try and prevent uh, the uh, opponent from getting money. Anyway, the second uh, guard tower is about to go here, but so does the commando, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, this level is split into two separate parts, really. Um, first part is the, obviously, the top half here, which all my units have pretty much been destroyed. Anyway, this, this, this guy here is going to try and go for my minigunners. Which, what was that, one grenadier versus, like, Six minigunners. Good luck with that. He actually did a bit of damage to one, I think. Okay. That's gonna be... That's gonna be the fodder for this mission, I believe. <clears throat> that's gonna be the fodder, because, uh, why not? Fodder. Fun and stuff. Uh, this level, on the other hand, was anything but fun. But now with that, I can get rid of the, uh, the barracks, because that was literally the only reason it was there. 
Anyway, luckily doing all the shooting and stuff like that, it does, it is going to waste their money. Which is always good. It's always good to waste money, especially with this. And uh, with both with both guard towers gone and both advanced guard towers pretty much dormant here, um, as long as nothing goes terribly wrong, which in previous recordings it certainly has gone wrong. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to take the uh, the second barracks here um, and then start building. Oh, and there is the airstrike that's going to go and take out poor little um, guy over there. Anyway, now we're going to move and take the refinery, just so we have it now. There we go, we get some money. And for some reason, that, because of the power, because of the amount of stuff we've just taken, uh, the advanced guard tower is back. Let's try and take out that barracks. Which is alright, because I already have one barracks. I don't, I don't really need to. Um, but the more sort of like barracks you have, uh, the quicker you can build units, which is, well, recruit units, I guess. But in this game, they're building and you build the units. Anyway, the, uh, yeah, there are two medium tanks as well, which, uh, I believe did a pretty big number on my, uh, on my harvester, which is a bit of a shame. Um, the engineer is, well, a pretty much amount of money, and that's kind of where the second part of this, or the second area of this, uh, mission comes in. So you can see, yeah, the harvester's taking a bit of a battering. Uh, but, he's right, oh, and there's some more troops, that one, yep. Anyway, luckily, they, they don't go, like, anywhere near us, but as you can see, look at those APCs to the side. Do not like the look of those. Anyway, time to finally get rid of the construction yard. I don't really need to construct anything else here. Uh, it's always going to get a bit more money, so... Now we move on forward to try and get some more money, maybe from these silos here. And that's me turning help techs on. Um, there we go. And I believe we actually got some money. Anyway, we're, uh, at the moment, we're keeping the, uh, the, um... Uh, the harvester well back because the last thing we want is for that to get killed because that's our only source of money at the moment so uh well that and these silos here which i'm uh, lovely um, and loving in taking oh, but i believe i actually lost money by selling that silo so that was a pretty bad idea on my part uh we got a bit of money there look at that about about a grand i'd say i believe that's getting shot at by a humvee i think so we sell that silo, and um, yep, we're still we're still moving on. Building. Yeah, I lost money again. So yeah, that, that's Building. knowledge for the future. Building. That is knowledge for the future. We take the last one, which gives us more money, Building. and we get rid of it, and that's probably got rid of all the money. No, I got a, I got a little bit of it. That's alright. Anyway, now it's time for us to try and strike an offensive, try and uh, make this base fully ours, uh, at least for the moment. This was the toughest part, part of the mission, in my opinion. Uh, apart from the bit where the game absolutely screwed me over with terrible level design. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, look how quickly we're getting grenadiers now. Uh, but yeah, these three APCs are going to be the problem. APCs can run over units. So that is a massive issue that we are going to want to try and avoid. And anyway, with, these, uh, with these grenadiers here, uh, with the massive amount of grenadiers I'm building, um, pretty much I'm hoping to try and take out the APCs as quick as possible before the AI starts going, let's, let, let's run over them for funsies, pretty much. We don't want that. We don't want funsies. Anyway, uh, yep, just to move the, uh, the, arti uh, the artillery, no, the refined, ah, uh, yeah, no, that's not right either. Uh, chompy thing, to move chompy thing out of the way. Anyway, I use the technicians here as a bit of a distraction. Uh, but it doesn't work very well. There you go. So that, that literally did nothing. I just wasted two technicians. But then again, a technician. So what do you expect? Anyway, it's just time here to try and destroy these APCs as quick as possible. Which I do. And there's another mammoth tank. I believe they have three in this mission. Uh, this is the second one. Problem is there are a lot of other troops as well. But luckily the mammoth tank pretty much dies quick. Uh, which is very good. We just need to do is just take out the rest of these. But uh, our troops have been severely diminished, and there are still, still, like, two, um, what's it called? Yeah, there's still two medium tanks about. 